Commentator at Pataudry is John Modson. The English and Scottish champions coming out together for a match that Aberdeen on the left in the red regard as the most important match in their history. And they can look around their smart all-suited stadium here at Pataudry, the only one of its kind in Britain, incidentally, and reflect that they could have sold the 24,000 tickets at least three times over. Such is the enormous interest in a match which has captured the imagination of those in the Granite City and those who work on the oil rigs in the North Sea. Aberdeen, who've broken the Rangers-Celtic monopoly north of the border, have five Scottish internationals. Number two, Stuart Kennedy. The centre-backs, Alex McLeish and Willie Miller. Number seven, Gordon Strachan, perhaps the most exciting player in Scotland at present. And the experienced number ten, Drew Jarvey. Liverpool have three current Scottish internationals in their side, Alan Hansen, Kenny Dalglish and Graham Souness, but the one enforced change is at number three, where an injury to Abby Cohen means a recall for Alan Kennedy. So there'll be three Kennedys on the field tonight, Alan and Ray on the Liverpool side and Stuart Kennedy of Aberdeen. each team naming five substitutes any two can be used and that's nothing new to Aberdeen because they're allowed to use two in the Scottish Premier League every week tonight's referee Jagos of Poland officiated during the 1978 World Cup finals in Argentina Aberdeen kick off knowing that the big chance for them comes in the first leg they've got to get a lead here if they can McGee is the number nine, being challenged by Thompson, his Scanlon. Mark McGee wants of Newcastle. Number ten is Jarvey, that's a nice turn by him. Shot struck Thompson. Keep an eye on number seven, Gordon Strachan. That was Willie Miller, the captain. Watson well forward and away by Hansen. Here's Johnson for Liverpool. Miller, good ball, Strachan. Jarvey calling in the centre, offside, says the Polish linesman. The referee has acknowledged the flag, but let play go on. Scanlon. Sammy Lee is chasing him. McDermott's there also. Turn back in, and Clement's coming for an easy catch. Terry McDermott for Liverpool. Souness. Just under 1,000 Liverpool fans here. This is Alan Kennedy. Alan Hansen. Liverpool won't be in the mood to hurry. And least of all to make mistakes. That's Souness to Dalgleish. Looking for Johnson. It's Strachan for Aberdeen. That was back to him from Watson. That's McMaster well forward. Turning it on for Jarvie, but Hansen's there. Here's Hansen, McDermott, Bill Thompson, Souness, that's over hit. Aberdeen goalkeeper is Jim Layton, who's established himself while the veteran Bobby Clark has been out injured. Layton is 22. Lee for Liverpool. That was Rugby in the way. Doug Rugby, the tall left back of Aberdeen. That's an Aberdeen throw. Mm. 
Neil up with Scanlon. And Neil again. Ray Kennedy is well forward here, away by Stuart Kennedy. Now it's McDermott to Alan Kennedy. Souness. Hansen. Thompson. Lee. Neil. Ball coming off the pitch fairly quickly because we've had some fairly heavy rain in Aberdeen today. But it really is a beautiful stadium. Everybody's seated. It was Lee. Watson. That's Mark McGee getting up. Re referee wave play on initially and then penalised McGee. McDermott takes the kick and finds Johnson. To Strachan. McLeish. Dalgleish. Oh, nicely played by Johnson to Terry McDermott. And a little chip from McDermott. And what a lovely goal. And so typical of the player. Terry McDermott produces a special. And it was an incisive move by Liverpool. Kenny Dalgleish began it with the ball inside. Johnson, a lovely first-time pass. And look at the delicate chip by Terry McDermott. Left-footed over the goalkeeper. And Liverpool have taken the lead after only five minutes. Tremendous start for the English champions. And Johnson's first time ball there was quite superb to McDermott. But look at the chip. Absolute perfection. 1 0 to Liverpool. Now, Souness. Stuart Kennedy for Aberdeen. McMaster is the man on the floor. Further forward, this is McLeish. John McMaster seems quite badly hurt after that last tackle. <laughs> Referee is checking with his linesman to see how that incident occurred. Uh, but the man on the ground is the left-sided midfield player, John McMaster, and the referee hasn't yet allowed the Aberdeen physiotherapist on, but he has now. David Johnson will be pleased with the part he played in the goal. So John McMaster back on his feet, an important player to Aberdeen, he's naturally left-footed. Thompson's head. <laughs> Lovely ball from Souness out to Sammy Lee. Here's Johnson. Neil. Driven long for Ray Kennedy, who's come menacingly forward, heading it back possibly for Souness. And the tangle was between Souness and Strachan, and the Aberdeen man won it. Put his side on the attack which is soon snuffed out by a very determined Liverpool. Here's Dalgleish. McDermott. Lee is the target on the far side.
And I don't think John McMaster, having been injured early in the game, is going to be carrying on for very much longer. I've got a feeling that that injury was worse than it may have looked, and Dougie Bell is waiting to come on, number 14. So 14 minutes gone, and off goes John McMaster. And he's replaced by another midfield player, 20-year-old Dougie Bell. McDermott there. Oh, it's a nice ball offside, though. Offside against Jarvi. Wouldn't have kept it. Just see as the ball was played through there, he was offside. There's Ray Kennedy. David Johnson unable to reach that. Oh, what a poor piece of defensive play there, letting Johnson into Lee. But Johnson hadn't gone for the return, and Aberdeen, having made the error, are able to retrieve it. Halfway through the first half, Aberdeen nil, Liverpool one. Here's Scanlon. McGee, Jarvie has pushed well forward, number 10, beaten by Hansen. Bell. Strachan. Clements jumping and he missed it first time, hooked away by Phil Neal. Miller heads it back in for Aberdeen. Jarvie is up there again, Alan Hansen with the overhead clearance. Now McLeish. Stuart Kennedy. Good tackling back by Kenny Dalglish. Javi. There's Miller, well killed. Sammy Lee in the way. McLeish knocking it back for Scanlon. This time it's Neil who clears. Liverpool very composed in defence. Here's McDermott. Sunes to Neil. Familiar triangular pattern with which Liverpool worked the ball. Oh, McLeish was just a little hesitant at first. He's just come back from a knee injury, the centre half. But here's Stuart Kennedy for Aberdeen. Aberdeen have got plenty of players forward in this attack, but they can't find any of them. Lee. Gordon Strachan. Stuart Kennedy. Kennedy. McGee. Tight control. It's surrounded by white shirts. Here's Watson. And he's also being hounded by Sammy Lee, a foul that. everybody back and closed all the angles. A 
was on by Bell, but the referee gave Aberdeen the free kick when they would have preferred to have had an advantage applied. Given for dangerous play is Rugby. Fine effort by the left back. A great favourite with the Don supporters here at Pitodri, Doug Rugby. As you can hear from the response in the crowd, loves to get forward from the left back position and that shot fizzing across the face of the goal. One of the best efforts we've seen so far from the Scottish champions. Hansen then. Souness out to Sammy Lee. Four players in the centre for Liverpool here. Souness arriving now. Neil. Lee. There's a bit of shoving between Lee and Rugby. Miller, Watson, that's Bell, Miller again, Strachan, Stuart Kennedy, and again the man tackling back was Delgleish, but here's a chance perhaps for Jarvie, McGee, good stop by Ray Clements. Mark McGee so close, corner to Aberdeen, it was Jarvie who set McGee up, and it was very, very close. Completion <laughs> rugby there, Watson shoots. Out to Bell. Alan Kennedy with the header away. McLeish back in. Ray Kennedy back out. In by Stuart Kennedy. Liverpool having to survive a bit here, but doing so. Good spell this for Aberdeen, but my word, they need it. Here's Strachan. Stuart Kennedy. through them, play on says the referee, good decision, Strachan, Bell, corner, the linesman said it was a goal kick I think, but the referee's given the corner, doing well, still loose and McGee couldn't make contact, Alan Kennedy could and Liverpool can have a break on out of defence with Dalglish in a good position here and a tremendous run by Alan Hansen from the back, that's absolutely brilliant well what about that for defence into attack, Alan Hansen must have made 80 yards he was the man on the far side of your picture, getting ahead of the defender coming back with him and Jim Layton made the save corner taken quickly there is Hansen. Here's Dalglish. Here's Ray Kennedy with the shot. Well, one minute there, Liverpool were having to fight with their backs to the wall, and then suddenly, out of defence, came Alan Hansen on the right-hand side, cottoning on to that through pass from Dalglish, and the goalkeeper saved well with his left leg. There are just seven minutes left in the first half and Dalglish gets an interception from a poor pass by Watson. And he's got support arriving from David Johnson and that shot, I think, turned onto the woodwork by the goalkeeper. Jim Layton certainly got a touch. 
Kenny Dalglish set up David Johnson here, and Johnson's shot fired in, turned onto the side of the frame of the goal. Here comes Ray Kennedy. Sooners. Damn it. This is Neil. Getting it back nicely. Liverpool again beginning to look menacing in attack, having survived 10 or 15 minutes of. Aberdeen pressure. Strachan. Foul, but the referee sensibly played an advantage, and Jarvie tried to get McGee through. Here's Watson looking for Scanlon. Phil Neal with time to turn it back. Johnson Tarkish, intricate play by Liverpool too intricate Watson Scanlon Sammy Lee making a tremendous attempt to get back goal side but in doing so he fouled Scanlon Kennedy. The job finished off by Phil Thompson. And the referee blows for half time. And Liverpool, the side playing in Europe for the 17th consecutive season, have shown their vast experience here. The bonus of an early lead given them by Terry McDermott's 12th goal of the season for them put them in charge. And that valuable away goal is the one by which Liverpool lead here at Pitodri at half time. Liverpool start the second half. The goal they scored in the first half was their 50th of the season in all competitions. And they're a club who seem to be hitting landmarks nearly all the time. There goes Dalglish, held back there quite patently by William Miller and a reaction from Dalglish. This is Liverpool's 104th match in the three major European club competitions over the years. Ray Kennedy tried to turn it back for Sooners, but only gave it to Strachan. Alan Kennedy's interception, and onside was he? Well, the linesman didn't flag at first, and he left it to the referee to give it. There was a moment's indecision there as Sammy Lee came through on the right. Ball driven through by Alan Kennedy, and I don't think there was much doubt about the offside. Johnson Stuart Kennedy to Strachan full-blooded tackle by Alan Kennedy who is relishing the return to the first team tonight his Scanlon referee in the way Bell for Aberdeen Watson has pushed well forward Scanlon is out on the right Here's Watson, here's Kennedy, away by Hansen. Miller. Strachan. Bell. Just 
finally comes all the way back to Miller and the captain shoots over the bar. Well, Aberdeen have got to push forward from the back. They've got no option, a goal down in the home leg, and it was Willie Miller there that had the final lofted shot. Well over. Alan Hansen having a good match. He picked out Phil Neal there. Doug Leach flicking it back. Ray Kennedy's well forward, so is Sunes. That was his shot. Lee. Dalglish. Lee again. McDermott making space for himself. Phil Neal. Oh, that was played in nicely. Referee actually penalised Ray Kennedy for pushing. Here's Strachan. Far side, Stuart Kennedy, who loves to get forward, but uh, that pass was too strong. So it's Ray Kennedy for Liverpool. Back to Allen. McLeish's header. McGee back to Bell. Nothing falling for Aberdeen at the moment. That was up for offside. There's David Johnson. Lee. Phil Neal finding time to get down the right wing, and that's indicative of the way the match is going. At this stage, very much Liverpool's way. Phil Thompson having a little bit of a climb on Mark McGee. Strachan taking it quickly, turned on by Jarvie. Dalglish away, and this could be a dangerous break. He's got Johnson on the left wing and two players sprinting on this side, one of whom is the inevitable McDermott. But he won't reach that. Rugby. McGee. It's a good run, this. That's Bell. That's Strachan. Well set up here by Mark McGee. He's got good close control. Went past two. On by Bell. Strachan shot. Clement save. One of the more promising Aberdeen moves. Now this is Johnson. Douglas. Johnson again. Away by Watson. Soon as coming forward. Hansen to Neil. And McGee again makes the run down the left. Oh dear me. Phil Thompson, a suicidal attempt to intercept. Unfortunately for him, Neil did. Mark McGee again, the threat. There he is once more. Strange that he should be watched tonight by one of his relatives, uh, Mark McGee, is actually uh, related to Frank McGee, the well-known Daily Mirror sports columnist, who's reporting the match from the press box tonight. Alan 
Kennedy. And here's Johnson. Oh, Ray Kennedy was a bit casual there, and Liverpool, if anything, are perhaps just taking things a shade easy at this stage. Here's Strachan. This is Jarvie. And now Bell. Jarvie again. Rugby with the shot. Good throw that by Ray Clements and uh, the ball just out of play before Rugby's shot going in again there. Clements was right behind it. Miller looking for Scanlon. And now it'll be Liverpool's turn to make a substitution. Jimmy Case waiting to come on to replace Sammy Lee. Interesting switch because Sammy Lee has been keeping Jimmy Case out of the side on the right-hand side of the Liverpool midfield four. So Case will be keen to prove something. down to Scanlon. Cleish. And the crowd don't like that, but that's what happens when you're playing against Liverpool and they force you back. Soonest. Ray Kennedy. again Rugby that was a careless ball from Hewitt this is McDermott Phil Thompson who's led Liverpool as well as ever Sooness Looks for Johnson and Willie Miller and Johnson doing a little bit of uh, holding there. Johnson is the man penalised. Tangling of the arms. Strachan. Watson. Stuart Kennedy. Strachan again. That's McDermott's header. Well, uh, Referee has penalised Case. Strack and wide to Stuart Kennedy. Rugby is well forward here. Hampson is tangling with him, cleared by Neil. It's Ray Kennedy to Dalgleish. McDermott started a run, Johnson is already forward. There are players now to the right. There's David Johnson. McDermott. Case. It's away by McLeish. And then Scanlon against Alan Kennedy. still searching to get the goal back that they conceded so early in this first leg giving themselves a seemingly insurmountable task in the tie against the former champions of Europe
Aberdeen at times haven't helped themselves. I think they would admit that. Here's Johnson. Sunes. Pace making an interesting run on this side, but so too is Del Gleish there. This case. Neil. Oof, McDermott onside. Oh, and cleared by the defender, and back by McDermott again, and this time the goalkeeper doesn't need Miller's help. Terry McDermott with two shots. McGee. Ray Kennedy is the player with him. Down goes McGee, play on to the referee who's controlled the game well. Back by Stuart Kennedy, here he is again. Strachan. Liverpool taking too long to clear there, ideally. Here's Hewitt. Offside on the far side, it's Gordon Strachan who's off. Looking inside at Scanlon, but the linesman actually flagged at Strachan first. Scanlon was also well forward. David Johnson looking for Kenny Dalglish. Oh, Stuart Kennedy outwitting him there. Strachan. Again, they've got Stuart Kennedy free on the right-hand side. Coming inside, Alan Kennedy. Forcing it out to Scanlon. Scanlon's shot could finish up anywhere. In fact, it was Case that got the ball away. Just two and a half minutes left, and Aberdeen desperate now for a goal to keep them in the tie. They're one down already at home with the second leg at Anfield still to come. Here's McLeish. Oh, it might be worse yet. Dalgleish. McDermott is to his right, and so is Johnson. It's still Dalgleish. Still got Johnson outside him. Oh, well, actually, it wouldn't have mattered because Johnson was flagged offside. Fairly lazy... Uh, Finish that Liverpool attack, which could have made it 2-0 if they'd uh, played the ball a bit earlier. Here's McDermott. Case. Johnson. Here's McLeish for Aberdeen. Doug Rugby. Phil Neal was in the way, had time to play his way out of trouble and find Doug Leash, and Neal will continue his run. Watson is the defender with him. Liverpool have got five players forward, and that is a measure of their superiority in a first leg which Liverpool won at least as comfortably, if not more so, than the score suggests. Aberdeen falling behind as early as the fifth minute to that McDermott goal will also perhaps look back on the early substitution of the injured McMaster. But having said that, on this showing, the English champions were in a different class to the champions of Scotland. And with Liverpool having won the away leg, it's very difficult to see any other result, bearing in mind the second leg is to come at Anfield in a fortnight's time, than that of Liverpool going through into the last eight of the European Cup. Well, as John Watson says, that's a useful little lead for Liverpool to take to Anfield for the second leg.